Hi Paul, so here's the notes from uh, today's lesson. I've just got the first lesson that we did uh, last week. Um, just run through that. And then if you now look at the changes that we made today. Okay. So this is, you know, it's not perfect. It's not the finished article on the right hand side, but in terms of the pivot and the body movements, um, you know, where the club is, um, a hundred percent better. So if I run through the main things that we did today, um, so set up now is, is, you know, is much better. Um, you're a little bit closer to the ball. The arms are just hanging a little bit more down. So when we draw the line, oops, when we draw the line on the back of your arms, which is here, we bang on kneecaps. Um, yeah, so there's a little bit, a little bit more flex there. Arms just hanging a little bit out more out in front of you in the shaft, just a little bit lower here. So this one just a little bit more upright. Um, so first thing we did was shorten it. Okay, so if we go back to the old one, we see how much that right elbow gets um, kind of out and behind you. Uh, club gets across the line at the top and, and is very long. Okay, if you now go to the position that you're in at the top of the swing, okay, which is here, so you can the light's quite bad on here, but it's you can just about pick the head up. You know, it doesn't really go past a parallel position. Okay, so you can see the arms just a little bit more in. Um, we've got you in a slightly more uh, deeper. Or lower lead arm, you could call it. So we can see that uh, the one on the left hand side kind of matches the hosel through the shoulder plane line, whereas the one on the right hand side is a little bit more around you uh, and you know, behind that, that right shoulder. The main reason being for that is from the first lesson, what we got you doing is trying to uh, give you a little bit more rotation in the lower body. So again, the camera, and camera uh, light is not brilliant on this one on the uh, left hand side but you can see that you've the flex in your right knee is still quite significant here and it just it it stops the uh, the rotation if you like of the pelvis and then that was one of the main reasons why this right arm flies out so much is because you're just limiting yourself how much you can turn so if you look at the one on the right hand side here you can see how the right knee has straightened a lot more um, which allows the pelvis to turn, which allows the uh, rib cage to rotate uh, and going forward um, this right arm for me will start to sit a little bit more in and we'll do some more work on that last uh, next time. Um, but from the one on the left obviously there you can see now how you start to move back and that head works off this yellow line here. Uh, hand path moves excessively out and then club obviously I think the path last time was sort of 10 degrees leftward um, you know so if we look at it now in transition or up to the top obviously the club's not going across the line and you can see how the club going back you get this element of the shaft shallowing on the way down which all you know great players do okay but what you also do really well is you pivot through your forward bend side bend and rotation and you can see um, the difference in terms of how you've maintained your spine angle if I put you in the same position that you're in on the left hand side and move your arm into the same position which is when it's just slightly lower okay than your belt buckle uh, these two are the same frames here um, the club shaft again you can just pick it out is actually here um, so you know it's, it's no-brainer stuff really it's just totally totally different um, you know and this was at full speed as well um, so yeah I mean hopefully that makes sense you can see the improvements visually obviously the ball flight was totally different and towards the end of the lesson you know you're just playing that pretty solid consistent uh, fade which you know is is no issue whatsoever um, so yeah really well done and massive progress you know 50% done 50% to go um, but yeah we'll crack on with it